Today I'm going to change a side marker light on a Volkswagen Passat. This is a major problem sometimes. A lot of people don't know how to do this. They think you have to go in the inside of the hood. But today I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so you don't go under the hood for this. You go under the fender here in the wheel. You see a spot here. This is a little flap. You reach under and you pull it out. Okay? And when you pull it out, you reach inside and the bulb is inside underneath so here we have it it comes out and I'm going to take out the bulb like I said I'm taking out the bulb it's up underneath here here's the bulb right here I'm going to tape it, take it out and also replace it and once I replace it I'm going to put it back in here I'm going to show you inside where it is there you go there's a side marker like I say you don't go from the underneath the hood you go from underneath the fender here, the left fender or the right fender, depends on where you're at, and it goes in that little hole there. Okay, so I'm gonna take it out, as you can see here. It's gonna come out. Okay, bowls out. I'm gonna replace it with the new pack, and I'm using Sylvania. This is uh, 2825. These are good. Like I said, they last longer. I have some issues sometimes with the lights, marker lights, but I'm going to replace this and then be on my way. Now I have replaced the bulb, as you can see here, and I'm going to put it back up under the fender. It goes back in the hole there. It's got to reach around on the right spot and once it's in there it is it's secure you can see that it's not going anywhere one thing to be mindful of you see this little piece you grab that and you're going to push it up into the hole when you push up in the hole you can look on the outside and you can see where the bulb is actually here we go I'm, I'm going to take it out again so you can see it wiggle it out Okay, it's out as you can see I'm gonna put it back inside up under the fender wiggling it gently and if you look around to the front you can see me you can see it actually coming out there you see that it's kind of sunny out here I'm in, the, in Florida but you can see closely where it comes out and if it's snugly there you go see that coming out there you go and last but not least you can see it's not sticking out here if you look a little closer you can see this is where it is it's in here it's wiggling okay and just one more time just to help you out you see the bulb there okay I'm gonna put the flat back where it belongs nice and snug without having any interference with the tire Okay, now it snaps in there. Gently, okay. One moment. Okay, so it snapped in. You also could take a screwdriver and unscrew this piece right here and then put it in snugly if you would like to. There's two different ways, but I did it the other way. I didn't have a screwdriver on hand, so that's it. Now let's turn it on and see if it works. And there you have it. Looks good. And like I said, you normally will have that little indicator here. It'll tell you if there's a problem with the light. Like I said, I wanted to show you inside. Here it is. I don't have it anymore. Before I had it, and it's complete. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it'll help you. A uh, common problem that a lot of people don't know how to, to solve. So, thanks for viewing and subscribe.